Morning exam. Good morning, teacher. Hello, how are you, Exa? Happy Monday. Little tired. <laughs> oh, tired. Why? Yes. Don't tell me you got insomnia. Uh, no. No. Uh, yesterday I adopted. Adopt. Adopted. Adopting a dog. <laughs> so was my first. <laughs> Your night. first night with him. Oh, 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 oh her. It's it a female yeah. dog or, or male? Male. A male. Oh, nice. Yeah. And what kind? Yeah. What breed is the the dog? Can I, oh my God, it's big. <laughs> <laughs> It's not little, it's big. Yes. It's is big. it is it from a family or a family member or or from the street or or, or any place? No. The, the last property. Mm -hmm. uh, the owner, owner. Ah, the owner uh, tell me that he passed. No, he did spend all the time alone, so oh. he, he tried to to adopt into another people. Oh, really? Okay, wow, you did a very good action. <laughs> now you have company, okay? Your dog, yes. what's, what's his Lucky. name? Lucky. Lucky, uh, yes, he's very lucky to be with you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wow, nice. That's a bit, but it's big, huh? Yes, so, it's big. And yesterday I was crying. Oh, I suppose, <laughs> yes. You have to give him food, talk to him, and little by little, maybe in, in four days, three weeks, a week, maybe he can adapt to your house. Yes. To the space, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh. Uh, 1 a.m., uh, stop crying. And. <sighs> It's like having a baby, huh? No, I can't <laughs> sleep. No, I it's can't like having sleep. a baby, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Illy uh, can Illy. tell you better. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love Illy, good morning. <laughs> Look, Illy, we have a dog now. This is Pai's dog, <laughs> and the class dog. We have, we have a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Lucky. The name is Lucky. Uh -huh. so, Lucky. A, a Loki. Loki. Oh, oh, no, lucky with the suertudo, no. no. Oh, Loki. The loco, pa. The loco. Yes. It's, it's a little crazy, crazy yeah. I suppose, yeah. He looks like a, a teenager, not like an adult dog. Yes. Uh, he looks young. Over 12 is the birthday, the first birthday. Almost a year. A, a, I'm sorry, can you repeat? October. October. October 12th. Ah, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So for next year, we're going to celebrate it for next year. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, Sophie is here. Okay. Also Blanquita. Okay. And then I was, uh, creo que Carla era, pero puso karma. <laughs> No. <laughs> Carla, creo que era. okay, Carlita, it was, but now he's disconnected. Okay, well, good morning, guys, everybody. We're very nice to have you here once again. Okay, um, how was Are the we weekend? How was the weekend? Ah, Carlita, Johanna, no era karma. <laughs> karma, Johanna, Carla, Johanna. <laughs> Carlita, good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you, Carlita? Yes. Uh, what? How, how are you? How was the weekend? Was it good? Yes, it's, it's very, very good. Very, <laughs> ah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, Franklin is here too. Okay, it's L2. Okay, my friends, very nice to see you. I know, okay, we are uh, still, you know, with this little um, change. Well, not little, but the change of virus around and every okay some of us prefer to stay home so the mothers are going out okay but um, i'm very happy to have you here okay safe okay and sound here 
Uh, this is the, 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 well, we continue with the third class because we started on last Thursday. So this is like our Wednesday, okay, for the class. Um, remember the, the, the section finishes in five days, okay? Uh, but the second week, we are going to have two sections in one week, okay? So you can continue working in the sections, okay? Um, in the platform. My friends, today we are going to have a different topic, but also we're going to practice what we did last week, okay? Uh, do you remember, Carlita, uh, what we were practicing last week? You remember? We were talking about these verbs, remember? Yes. Okay, the separable and non-separable phrasal verbs, okay? This is what we practiced last week. We practiced some of them. I told you not to get like worried if you don't know many, many phrasal verbs. You know, this is like memorizing, okay? Little by little, we're going to know some of them, okay? Separable and non-separable phrasal verbs. So uh, what we practiced last week is that when the phrasal verb is separable, you can put the object between, okay, the verb and the particle, so you separate it. But there are some other um, verbs that can't be separ separate, okay? So you cannot put the object there. So this is what we're gonna do. For example, right now, guys, I have the number one. This is the number one. We are going to read the number one. Exa, read the number one, please. Luis always wake up, wakes up his mom at 6 a.m. Okay, very good. There are questions that you have to answer here. Can you separate this phrasal verb? The phrasal verb is wake up. Can you separate this phrasal verb? Yes or no? If you can separate it, tell me how you can separate it and give me the, the, the answer, okay? Uh, changing the object. So remember the object is exactly after the verb, okay? So if the phrasal verb is wake up, his mom is the object, okay? So exa. Can you separate this phrasal verb, wake up, or not? Yes. Yes, okay. Can you please tell me the answer now, but separate it? Luis always wakes his mom up at 6 a.m. Let's check. Excellent. Very good. Luis always wakes, uh, wakes his mom up at 6 a.m. Excellent. Very good. That's it. So this is separable, okay? Wake up. If you want to say, hey, me despertas a las, eh? wake me up, wake me up at seven o'clock, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the second one. The second one is for Itzel. Good morning, Itzel. How are you, Itzel? Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Itzel. Okay, Itzel. Now, read the sentence, please. Chris never looks up a girl in her dictionary. Okay, very good. Remember, looks up is like buscar, right? Okay, so my question is, can you separate look up, itzel? Is it separable or not separable? If it is Maybe. separable, change. Okay, change the, the position of the object, please. Um, Chris never looks a word up in her dictionary. Let's check. Excellent. Very good. Excel. Excellent. Yay. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Chris never looks a word up. Okay. This is another way you can use the phrasal verb look up. Okay. Very good. Sophie. This is for you, Sophie. Good morning. Okay. This is for Sophie, the number three. Let's check the number three. Okay, Sophie, can you please read? Don't pick up those pages. Okay, very good. Can you separate pick up, Sophie? What mm. do you think? I think that no. Oh, you think that is not possible? 
Okay, so for you, pickup is not separable. Okay, what do you think, guys? What what what, what do you think? Is it separable or non-separable? Separable. Sophie says no. Uh huh. Separable. Dump ah. that page is open. Ah, okay. <laughs> so it's separable, Sophie. Okay, so don't pick those pages. Those pages. Up. Okay, that's it. Good, 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 good. And with a little, with a little help, huh? <laughs> don't pick those pages up. Remember, pick up. Recoger. O incluso usted puede decir, hey, in English, for example, hey, Carlita, eh, recogeme en metro a las 7. ¿Eh? Recogeme, pick me up. Pick me up at Metro Centro at 7 o'clock, please. Okay? Or you can call your, your boyfriend, your husband, your father. Okay? Mira, ya salí. Recogeme en metro. Okay? So you say, pick me up. Pick me up. So pick up is separable. Okay, that's it. Let's continue with the other one. Okay, the other one is for my friend Ili. Okay, Ili. Next. What do you think for this one, Iliana? Read it, in please. Japan, in Japan, people take off their shoes when they enter to any place. Okay. What do you think with take off? Is separable or non separable? Uh, separable. Separable. Okay. Can you change okay the the, the object uh -huh, position? In Japan, people take their shoes off when they enter to any place. Let's check. Excellent. Very, very, very good. In Japan, people take their shoes off. Okay, very good. Or take off their shoes, whatever you want to say, but this is another possibility. Okay, excellent. Let's continue with another one. Okay, this is for uh, Francisco. Good morning, Francisco. Okay, I will ask Francisco to read the sentence, right? The next sentence. Okay, Frank, can you please read this one, Francisco? Ah, okay. I have a chat from from Frank, and he tell he's telling me that he has problems with his audio. Okay, so don't worry, Francisco. Stay there. Listen to me. I hope you can listen to me. Okay, okay. I, I understand that. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the next Frank. <laughs> okay, with Franklin. Okay. Hi, morning. Hello, morning, Franklin. Read the sentence, please, Frank. I always uh, I always run into some from my whole school. Okay, very good. I always run into someone from my old school. My question here, Frank, is the next one. Is running to separable or non-separable? Uh, yes, separable. Separable, okay. So if you can separate it, what is the, 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 the sentence? Um, uh, I think uh, I always room some from, uh, pardon, uh, I always someone? room mm -hmm. someone, someone, uh, someone into from my whole school. Okay, that's it. I always run someone into, okay. What do you think, guys? What, what, what do you think, the rest of the people? Separable non or non-separable? Non-separable. Ah, non-separable, Franklin. Look, so what is the answer here? Okay, so the answer for this is this phrasal verb is non-separable. So it means that you can't put someone separating, run, and into. The only answer from this is I always run into someone, run into my friend, run into the teacher, run into my ex, run into my, uh, what, my, ooh, my kindergarten teacher, I don't know, okay? But never separated, okay? So okay. please, in this case, no, okay. That's it. Okay, but good try. Good try. Okay. Next, this is for Blanquita. Hello, Blanquita. Hello. Okay, Blanquita, can you please read the sentence? 
you have to do over your homework. Okay, uh -huh. the phrasal verb is do over, do over. Yeah. You have to do over. Remember, this is repeat. Okay, you have to do over your homework. So, Blanquita, can it be separated or not separated? It's not separated. Ah, not separated. Okay, so uh, the answer is like that. Okay, what, what, what do you think, guys? The rest of the guys, is it separable or non separable? Separable. Separable. Aha, uh -huh. this blanquita is separable. Okay, you can separate do and over. Okay, so if it is separable, blanquita, okay, what is the, the other alternative? You have to do your other homework. Mm, separate it, please. You have to put the object between do and over. Remember. Do it again. You have to do your over. Your what? You, remember, cuando digo objeto, no solo es la palabra que sigue después de over. Your. No, your qué. Your homework is complete the object, okay? Try it again. Try it again. Mm -hmm. You have to do you. Oh, you have to do your homework over. Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Okay. You have to do your homework over. So something that you have to know here, guys, is that. It's not just like your or se va yun his or da or a. No, it's not only the word, the little word. No, the complete phrase. Okay, your homework. A dog. A, my plants, for example. Okay, just to tell you something. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Giovanni Alberto. Good morning. This is for you, Giovanni. Can you please read the sentence? Good morning. My good morning. Uh huh. Read. My sister takes after my father. Okay. The phrasal verb is take after. So the question is, is take after Giovanni separable or non separable? Okay. Um, take after. Can you separate take and after or not? It's impossible. Mm. Um, not separable. Not separable. Okay, let me check here. That's it. Okay, very good. Excellent. This phrase Albert, uh, is non separable. So you cannot say, My sister takes my father after. No, this is impossible. Okay, because this is non separable. Okay, very, very, very good. Okay, I have another one. Okay, this is for, let me check here. Araceli, good morning, Araceli. Okay, Araceli. Morning. Oh, morning. Can you read the sentence, please, Araceli? My salary is long. I always run out of money at the end of the month. Okay, very good. Remember, run out of is like quedarse sin nada. Okay, run out of money at the end of the month. Okay, my friend. Question for you is run out of separable or non separable? What do you it's, think? It's not separable. No separable. Okay, let me check the answer here. Excellent. This phrase, Albert, is not separable. So, my friends, you cannot say, I run money out of at the end. No, okay? You cannot separate it, okay? Una de las claves que sepan que no es separable es porque tiene tres. Miren, run out of. <laughs> Run into, okay? So when, when it has three, well, it's obviously it's not separable, okay? Next, okay, we are going to continue, okay, with this one. A clean up, it says, clean up your office. This is for, a, is for my friend there, um, Juan Carlos, okay, Juan Carlos. Morning. Hey, hello, good morning. Okay, morning, Juan Carlos. Can you please read? 
Uh, clean up your office before you leave, please. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Is clean up separable or non-separable, JC? Uh, it's separable. Separable. Okay. Can you please change the sentence? Uh, clean your office up before you leave, please. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Clean your office up. Excellent. Very good. This is separable. Okay. The other one. Okay. This is the, the last one I have here. Okay. This is for my friend Carlita Beatriz. Good morning, Carlita Aguilar. Hi, teacher. Morning. Hello. Morning. Read the sentence, please, Carlita. Uh, don't give up your English classes. Don't give up your English classes. Remember, give up is abandon. Okay, that's it. Don't quit. <laughs> that's it. So, is it separable or no separable, Carlita? Uh, it's separable. Separable. Can you please change the sentence? Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't give your English class up. Okay, let's check, okay? Don't give your English classes up, excellent, okay? Very, 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 very good, okay? That's it. This is what you have, okay? Something similar in the platform, okay? That you have to put the object, okay? Change the position of the object. And remember, okay, um, there is, well, you have a list of non-separable phrasal verbs. So if the phrasal verb doesn't appear there, it's because it's not, it, it doesn't belong there, okay? So this is what we practiced last week, okay? Remember, run into, ah, encontrar alguien por accidente, come across, encontrar algo por accidente, okay? Eh, look after, okay, es cuidar, is take care of, Take after, dijimos, pues, eh, parecerse a alguien, right? Eh, do over, repeat, ok. Tenemos también el otro, ¿cuál era? Eh, tenemos put on, ponerse, eh, take off, quitarse, right? Like the shoes, for example, hicimos las bromas con Franklin, right? Take off the shoes. No, please. No. <laughs> ok. Eh, then we practice, ok, some others y unos que ustedes ya usaban desde el módulo 1. Get up, wake up, get dressed, eat out, ok, those uh, phrasal verbs, ok, talk into, que sería como persuadir a alguien, right? Convince someone, ok. Those are some common phrasal verbs we have, ok. Um, then we have, ok, for, for this part, for uh, the second part of this section number one, we are going to be talking about, ok, requests with modals and uh, would you mind, ok. This is something that we already studied, okay? So this is not something difficult. This is not something like something that you don't know. Maybe the expression, would you mind? This is new for you. And this is what I'm going to explain. So then you can practice, okay? Uh, doing some exercises, that's it. Request with models. And would you mind? When you say request, remember, guys, son cosas que usted quiere pedirle a alguien, ¿ok? Usualmente favores, ¿ok? Request with models and would you mind? It says here, look, it's okay to say, please turn the stereo off. Remember, turn off is, this is a separable, ¿ok? It's okay to say, please turn the stereo off. To people, when we know well, friends, family, colleagues, we should use a more polite request. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Tone of voice is also important. So that means, guys, that when you're talking to a friend, you say, hey, turn off the stereo, turn up the volume, turn down the volume. Sometimes we use please and sometimes we don't use please. But you use these guys when you know the person, when you know the people, 
when they are friends, when they are part of your family, sisters, brothers, okay, best friends, or very close colleagues. But what about when you want to say that, okay, to your boss, to a person that you don't know, okay? For example, a una persona en la calle y le dice, hey, ¿qué horas tiene? No, right? You don't say that. <laughs> Le va a salir con una cara bien enojada o se le va a salir corriendo. Ok, va a decir, ahí está. Ok, so you need to be more formal. Y dice que la formalidad va desde can hasta llegar a would. Can is informal. Then we have could. Y, and the last one that is very formal is would. So I'm going to introduce right now the structure would you mind? Okay? Repeat this one. Would you mind? No, I say mean. Okay? Would you mean? No. Would you mind? The structure, would you mind? Plus gerund is a very, very polite formal request. This is important. Look. The verb mind must be followed by a gerund. In other words, the verb in ing. This is important. This is the structure. After mine, you need the verb in the ing form. So teacher, what is would you mind? Te importaría. Okay. This is like when you want to sound very Disculpe, la molesto, in Spanish, right? Like in Salvador in Spanish translation, la molesto con la hora. Me podría dar la hora, por favor, eh? It's different, okay? No va a llegar y le dice, excuse me, what's the time? Dígale así cuando es amigo, right? When you know the person. Pero alguien de la parada de buses que no conoce, ok, si no quiere que se le vaya corriendo, right? <laughs> en El Salvador is very common, ¿verdad? Right? Así como, uy, este quién es marero. <laughs> so, you have to use expression here. Look, would you mind? This is the structure that is very formal, ok? Would you mind plus gerund? And we are going to say this, ok? Miren cómo trabajan los modals. Modal plus the simple form of the verb. Okay, let's see the examples. Let's see the examples that we have here. Itzel, can you please read the three examples? Yes. Um, can you turn the stereo off? Okay, this is with can. Now we could, Itzel. Hmm? Could you close the door, please? Mm -hmm. And would you mind? Would you, uh -huh. you please take the garbage garbage out? Okay, very good. Excellent. So it says would. Now the other one. Es el que quiero que, que veamos ahora. Estos son los tres modales. Look, can, could, would. Can, informal, semi-formal. Formal, very formal. Mire cómo voy a transformar estos three requests usando would you mind. Porque aquí usamos would, but no would you mind. It's different. Okay. So now I start and I say here, would you mind. Y dije la, la estructura, ¿cómo iba la estructura? Plus the verb. In ing. ing. Very good. So, busquemos el verbo aquí. ¿Será el verbo would? No. You? No. Please? No. Turn. Take. Take. Ah, y aquí está el verbo. Phrasal verb. Take out. Entonces yo digo, would you mind? What is the ing for take? Taking. Taking, very good. Would you mind taking the garbage out? Look. Y lo quiere hacer más formal, pues póngale, please. 
Okay, that's it. Look. Would you, teacher, pero es que yo no lo quiero separar. Bueno, no lo separe, entonces. Don't complicate your life. Would you mind taking out the garbage, please? Okay, that's it. So, you see, this is another way you can um, use to express requests, okay? Favores, pedidos, cosas que usted quiere que hagan por usted. Informal, can you? Semi-formal, could. Formal, would. Very formal, would you mind? Okay? ¿Te importaría si sacas la basura, por favor? Sacar la basura. Would you mind taking out the garbage, please? Okay? For example, this is, a, this is an example right now, okay? It says here, okay, for, for, for someone. For example, Veronica, are you there, Vero? Hello, Vero. Hello, teacher. Hi, Vero. Okay, Vero. Quiero que ocupe turn on the camera. Turn on the camera, Vero. Okay? Quiero que ahora me, me haga el request usando can, could, would, and would you mind. Okay? La frase es turn on the camera. A mi mejor amiga yo le dijera, ella hey, enciende la cámara vos. Turn on the camera. De un solo. Pero vamos ahora a hacerlo informal. Ok. Vamos, pero use can, please. Can you turn on the camera? Very good. Now could, pero. Could you turn on the camera, please? Very good. Would, pero. Would you, um, turn, would you please turn on the camera? Very good. Now, would you mind, Berito? Would you mind taking the camera? No. Would you mind take? Would you mind turning turning, mm -hmm. turning numb the camera, please? Excellent. Very good, Plaza. Perfecto. Excellent. Very good. You see? Ahora, yo no lo puedo obligar a usar el que quiera, el, este, would you mind? No, it depends on you and the person you are referring to, ¿ok? Muchas veces nosotros le pedimos a nuestro jefe algo, right? No le van a decir, can you, <ríe> ¿ve? Dependiendo la, 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 por la formalidad que le tenga, right? So, yo usaría este, would, dependiendo si me llevo súper bien con mi jefe, could, Ok, pero si no me voy con esta, would or would you mind? Ok, would you mind? That's it. So you see, this is, ok, eh, the use of the modals depending on the formality, right? That's it. Next, I'm going to add somebody else, ok, to give me, ok, the other ones. For Sinia, hello Sinia, good morning. Good morning, teacher. Okay, Sinia. I, I will give you one, one uh, imperative and you use can, could, would, and would you mind. Okay? That's it. Uh, lend, lend me $20. Lend me $20. Okay. Uh, can, uh -huh. can you lend me? Twenty dollar. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Cool. Could, could you let me twenty twenty dollars, please? Very good. Would. Would you let me twenty dollars? Mm -hmm. Perdón. Sorry. Would you please? Would you please? Aha. Let, uh -huh. let me. Aha. Uh -huh. Twenty dollars. Okay. Now, would you mind, Sinia? Would you mind? I don't know uh, the verb. Uh, let. Mm -hmm. Lend. El verbo que yo le dije es este, miren. Lend. Lend. Uh -huh. okay. So, what is the ing? Lending. Okay. Okay. Do you mind lending? Lend me, lend, pardon, lending me? Mm -hmm. 
$20, please. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Would you mind lending me $20, please? Okay, a este ya le presta quizás a, a quien, a, al suegro. <laughs> okay, with more respect, okay. Al esposo le dice, hey, eh, bueno, no sé si le dijeran, hey, lend me $20. Or oh, can you lend me $20? Okay, that's it. So this is, this is the, the level of formality. Okay, Giovanni, what about next one? Okay. That's it. I'm going to give you the, 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 the expression and you tell me the different requests. Okay, that's it. Stay five more minutes. Okay, this is the expression for you. Okay, Jova, stay five more minutes. You are okay. getting off your, your meeting, right? And you say, Shh, Podría quedarse cinco minutos más, ¿ve? Stay five more minutes. Do it, please. Can, could, would, and would you mind? Okay, Joba. Uh, number one is, can you stay five more minutes? Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two, could you stay five more minutes? Mm -hmm. Please, please. Uh -huh. very good. And number three, would you please staging? No, could you my please uh, staging five more minutes? Uh -huh, okay, would you mind staying five more minutes? Very good. Y esta yoga, si se fija el would, que está acá no lleva mine, okay? This is, this is the, ese es agregado el que les tengo el would you mind. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's different, Yoba. Okay. That's it. Hágalo ahorita con solo would. Okay, please. Uh, would you? Please. Uh -huh. Please stay in. No, ya no le ponga no. el stay in porque no lleva mind. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead, please. Will you please stay five more minutes? Excellent, very good. Ahora sí, mira yo. Would you mind? Would you mind please stay in five more minutes? Okay, very good. El would you mind, Yoba, no lleva el please acá. Lo lleva al final. Uh, okay, that's it. El único que lleva el please in the middle is this one, right? Would you please? Okay, that's it. Uh -huh. Aha, okay. very, very good. Would you, man? Would you stay, would you please stay five more minutes? Would you mind staying five more minutes, please? Could you stay five more minutes, please? Can you stay five more minutes? Y si es su gran chero toda la vida, hey, stay five more minutes. Wait, that's it. It depends on the level of formality, okay? Questions? No, everything is clear. Well, aquí está el would you mind aparte, que es el que quizás no sabíamos, right? Would you mind helping me out? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not taking your shoes? Esta, miren, es negative, guys, okay? La negativa del would you mind, okay? This is the negative only with would you mind, okay? That's it, look. Miren dónde lleva el not. Ok. Would you mind not taking your shoes off? No, te importaría no quitarte los zapatos, por favor. Ok. Hay personas que son bien confianzudas, right? Le dicen y le dan el beso de un solo, right? Ay, oh, no. Mire, disculpe, cree que me importaría no besarme. ¿Sí? Ok. So, ¿Cómo diría eso, Jesse? Ok. Would you mind... Lo peor que dan beso así con labio, aquí veo, oh, no así al aire, ajá, Jessy, so how would you say, me importaría no besarme, por favor, ajá, por Jesse. COVID, por, ajá, por COVID, o, o no tocarme, ajá, that's it, so how would you say that, please, tell me, would, would you mind uh -huh. kissing your, kissing, me, me, 
Uh huh. Very good. Please. Uh huh. Very good. Would you mind not kissing me, please? Uh huh. Please. Or te importaría no tocarme? Ah, oh, hello. Oh, yo, yo, COVID. Be careful. Uh huh. So, what is in this case? Uh huh. One volunteer. Te importaría no no tocarme, por favor? Uh huh. Informal, right? This is formal. Very formal. Uh huh. Somebody tell me the answer, please. Uh, would, you ask, uh, would you mind not touching me, please? Uh -huh. Very good. Not touching me, please. Y las abrazando. Not hugging me. Not kissing me. Okay. Very good. Very good. Y pues si ya, ya se odian, pues entonces ya lo tratan con respeto. Would you mind not talking to me, please? Okay, would you mind not talking to me, please? Si no quiere que le hablen, right? But this is very formal, guys. Okay, look, this is the positive, would you mind closing? And this is the negative form, okay? The would you mind not taking, okay? Mira donde va not, okay? Don't say don't, doesn't, no, not. After mine not, mine not, in the verb, in the ing form. Okay, that's it. Questions? Questions, questions? Is clear, Blanquita? Is clear, Sonia, Itzel, Herbert, Carlita, Brenda? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you mind? Negativo, not. Positive, pues quítele el not. The verb in ing. Y los demás pues son los formas, right? That's it. Okay. Questions? No? No. That's okay? Okay. Very, very, very good. You're going to have, okay, with this case, let me check somebody's... Um, Yes, me pregunta Sinia, si el would you mind lo podemos en negativo. Sí, es lo que les acabo de mencionar, ¿ves? Aquí está el negativo, right? Le voy a poner aquí por si. Ok, is negative. This is, ok, in this case, the would you mind, this is the negative form. Ok, the negative form. What is the negative form, teacher? Esta, ¿ves? not taking look would you mind not taking would you mind that's it this is when you are asking for something very very ¿Qué, qué, qué pueden hacer preguntar Ili en su trabajo que podría preguntarle a alguien así como ay no me da pena con esta señora pero le tengo que decir <laughs> ajá eh, in negative yes or, or positive I don't know uh, mm -hmm. eh, maybe Would you mind sending a mail? Okay, very good. Oh, and this is something you can do with the, with the customers. When you have your clients uh -huh. and customers by email or by talking, okay? Ay, te, no me han enviado la, la, la planilla del año pasado del, o, o el monto salario, I don't know, or the new list of employees para que no le digan ahí, mire, puede, can you, no. Como son sus clientes, you have to be very formal, very, very formal. So, eh, good morning, Mr. El nombre y el apellido, right? Okay. Eh, I am writing to you, okay, to request, ¿ve? para pedir, to request the following information, okay? Would you mind sending me the new list of employees before 11 a.m., please? ¿Eh? Si quiere pedir algo así, right? Ok. O si quieren que ya no le agreguen el tax. Un ejemplo, se me viene a la mente. Would you mind not adding the tax to the, to the incoming salaries for this month? Ok, because it's difficult for you then to enter and input the, all the information. So, this is a way, guys, you can ask. This is when you speak 
and when you write, okay? Mostly this is very, very formal requests, okay? That's it. Or other question you have? No? No questions? Well, I have here uh, this one. Y yo les envié esto, right? Creo que lo tienen ahí en your, in your, your WhatsApp. Yes, okay. These are exercises that you have here that you have to use. Would you mind? But I want you to pay attention to this one. Okay. Look at this exercise. Look at this exercise. A veces nos llevamos here solo por, ah, would you mind? Entonces todo lleva ING. But look at this one. Look at this. Miren, esta. Aquí se lo pongo en rojo. Okay? That's it. If you see, guys, in uh, this... John Luke, uh, ah, it's not projecting? Okay, let me check. Let me check. Okay. Right now, over here. Hoy sí, creo. Hoy sí? Yes? It's okay? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Very good. Okay, my friends. Um, this is the one that I want you to use. Look. Miren esta. Look. Acabamos de ver la estructura. Would you mind... Que sería la de arriba, right? Would you mind? But look at this. Be curious. Miren, esta dice. Would you mind if I... This is similar. Pero esta la sueno yo como para pedir un permiso, right? ¿Te importaría si yo... ¿Eh? ¿Te impu... Miren la otra. ¿Te importaría si tú, right? Would you mind if I, ¿cómo iría esta? Digamos que usted fuma y pues tiene ganas de fumar y le dice a las dos personas que están ahí, ¿le importaría si yo fumo? So, in this case is, would you mind if I smoke? In this case, my friends, in this case, look, listen. Cuando vaya la estructura, if the verb is in the original form, no ing, no ing. It is in the base form. While we are away, would you mind if you, oh, the structure if, so the verb is in the formal way. Drink, go, swim. Pero si no lleva el if, ah, ahí es donde lleva el ing. Okay? So we're going to do the exercises together over here. Okay? And I'm going to ask for your participations, my friends, individually. Eso sí. Me van a ayudar a que si yo digo un ejemplo, eh, Itzel, solo Itzel va a responder y los demás be quiet. Si ya les pregunto a los demás, pues, you can participate, okay? We are going to start with this one, so, okay? I hope everybody can participate. Hay bastantes, okay? There are some of them. Pay attention, please. If it is would you mind, only would you mind, or would you mind if... Remember, the verb is in the base form, okay? I'm going to start with uh, Carlita Joana, please. Number one, Carlita Joana. Tell me the sentences, please. Hello, Excuse Carlita Joana. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Will you, will you mind? I put up your cigarette. It's not smoking or hearing. Okay, uh -huh. sorry, so I didn't know. I didn't know. Very good. This is the answer for the person. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Usted okay. le pidió que por favor apague el cigarro. Would you mind? Can you repeat the, the form of the verb, eh, Carlita? Una. Por, um, it says put out. Do you mind? Put out. Put out. Put out like this? Asinoma? Put out? Put. 
No. ¿Qué les acabo de decir? ¿Qué les acabamos de decir? Ah, ok. So, do it. Putting out. Putting out. Putting out. Putting. Excellent. Very good. Y ya saben que put lleva todo el T. Ok. Putting out. Very good. ¿Por qué no va solo put out? Porque no lleva el if por ahí. Right? Remember, this is something you have to keep in mind. Ay, le importaría pagar el, 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 el cigarro, por favor. ¿ve? Would you mind putting out your cigarette? Ay, no le voy a decir turn off. <ríe> turn off es como cosas eléctricas, ¿ok? <ríe> turn off the TV, turn off the radio, turn off the lights, but the, the, excepto que es un cigarro eléctrico. <ríe> ¿Ok? That's it. So, would you mind putting out your cigarette? ¿Ok? Next, my friend eh, Herbert. ¿Ok? Mom, Herbert Martinez, hello. Hola, hello, hello. Okay, hello. Okay, Herbert, read the second one, please. Okay, Ma, um, would you mind uh, opening up your language? Uh, luggage, luggage. Luggage. Uh -huh. Este es maletas, mm -hmm. your luggage, equipaje. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your luggage, I need to look inside. Very good, okay. Would you mind opening up your luggage? Very good. Opening up, abrir, luggage. This is equipaje, okay? This is in, a, in, a, in an airport. Very okay. good. Let's continue. Excellent, okay. Uh, my friend Juan Carlos, number three. Would you mind? Juan Carlos, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, uh -huh. uh, Could you mind postpone, postponing the exam? Ah, okay. <laughs> Así digamos siempre, teacher, would you mind postponing the exam? <laughs> y yo le voy a decir no. <laughs> please, please, please. It's please. fine. <laughs> I please. want everybody to be well prepared. Okay, postponing. Eh? Would you mind postponing? Pero la mayoría de alumnos a uno le dice, teacher, postpone the exam, postpone the exam. I understand because we are very, very nice. You know, when we are in the classes, it's very friendly, the environment, I know. But if you want to be more like, ay, con esto sí me la gano, diga, would you mind, okay? <laughs> would you mind postponing? That's it, great. Next, okay, next is going to be for Brendita, okay, Brenda. Okay, Breda. Hello. Hi, teacher. Okay. Read it, please. Will, will you, will you mean mind? If, would you mind? Uh, will you mm -hmm. mind if you, solo que no veo bien, teacher. Oh, you need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Déjeme ver si lo hago más amplio. No, 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 es que la parte donde ha colocado para escribir. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Go ahead. Ahora go ahead. sí, oh, ahora sí. Uh -huh. Is this one, ok. Uh -huh. Would you mind? Will you mind if you use your phone to make a call? Ajá, uh -huh. and this, no, go ahead, ok, very good. So, use is use, yes? O using, ¿cuál creen? Use. Use, use, excellent, uh -huh. or oh, using, uh -huh. use, use, uh -huh. use, very good, it's use because you have if, remember, okay, very good, so, aquí va el if, okay, so be careful, when you use if, oh, okay. the verb is in the original form, okay, that's it, Giovanni, please, next, while we are away, while we are away, will you, if you take care of the car. Mm -hmm. Y yo le digo, mm, I actually can't because I will be out of town. Okay, this is like uh, cuando le dicen que no. Take care, very good. Okay, that's it, very good. I believe so. The verb is in the original form. Okay, that's it. Araceli, please next. Okay. Um, could you mind? Would, would, Ara, would. Ah, uh, Hola, Would you mind? Que fíjate que dice de que este, pues, el niño de la Catalina se los han llegado a cuidar. Yes, bien. yes, yes, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. 
Suerte que Would no decía nada mal. <laughs> Would you mind? Uh -huh. I close the back door. Excellent. Very good. Would you mind if I close the back door? I'm freezing. Oh, I'm still moving on. That's it. Okay. And the person says, no, you can close it. Okay. No, no me importa. Puede cerrarla. Dale. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next, Verónica. Next Pero, is, uh -huh. would you mind turning up the volume? Excellent. Turning up the volume. Very good. Would you mind turning up the volume? I can't hear anything. Not at all. Okay. Very good. Si ustedes se fijan, cuando la respuesta sea no, no es que le están diciendo, le están negando. No, porque le están preguntando, ¿te importaría? Y yo le respondo, no, no me importa, dale, dale. Uh -huh. Si usted viene a mi casa un día, digamos, y me dice, teacher, este, would you mind if I take fruits? Example. Oh, no, no, le dijera yo. No vaya a pensar que le estoy diciendo que no agarre, no. Es, no, no me importa. No, go ahead, eat whatever you want, ok? So, be careful there with the, with the answers, ¿ok? Because it says no, no quiere decir que le niegan la, ¿ok? The, the request, that's it. Thank you, Vero, very good, ¿ok? And next, Dalila, hello, Dalila. Okay. Hello, teacher. Ok, go ahead, Dalila. I can't figure out. I can't figure out how to solve this problem. Uh -huh. Would you mind help? Would you mind? Would Would you mind help me? Uh huh. Help me. Help me. Así o le agrego algo más? Do I have to add something else? What do you think? No, solo así. Segura. <laughs> ¿Dónde va el leaf? ¿Dónde va el leaf? Uh huh. Would you mind help, helping? Ah, helping me. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Ok. Cuando no lleve el if, dale. Pues no le pongan ing. Pero en ese caso, sí lo no lo lleva. Entonces usted le pone ing. Ok. That's okay. it. Ok. Would you mind helping me? ¿Te importaría ayudarme? ¿Ve? Would you mind helping me? Very good. Next, Francisco. Ok. Via chat. <laughs> o oh, ya tiene el audio bien, Frank. Francisco Cabrera. Hello, hello, hello. Creo que todavía está malito de. Ok. Vamos, Jesse. Ok, hello, Jesse. Hello. Ah, ok, ok, go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. okay, go ahead. Would you mind, ok, would you mind if I sit down? Ok, very good. Sit down. No, no go, go ahead. ahead. Uh -huh. Very good. Sit in the original form, ok. And the, the last one, Jesse, please. I am not ready for my presentation yet. Would, would you mind if I present next week? That's but, okay. I will give That's okay. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Very. Mira que la teacher le dice, no te preocupes, te voy a dar otra semana. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very happy. So my friend is present or presenting? What do you think? Present. Excellent. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ve. Would you mind if I present next week? Okay, very good. Look, and these are the answers, okay, from the exercises that we have there. ¿Por qué algunos van con ING? Porque solo dice, would you mind? And the other ones have, would you mind if I? Would you mind if she, he? Ahí le pone lo que usted quiera. No importa, ¿ok? It doesn't matter if you use he, she, it. Por ejemplo, yo puedo ir a un viaje y le digo a Verónica, Verónica, ¿te importa si mi mamá va conmigo? Would you mind if my mother goes with me? Oh, no, teacher, go ahead. We have plenty of space or whatever, ¿ok? So, this is the class for today, ¿ok? With requests. Can, could, would. Y el nuevo que vimos, would you mind. After would you mind, 
you need the verb in the ing form. Unless, would you mind, lleva if. If, would you mind, has if. Don't change the verb. The verb is in the original form. Okay, that's it. Questions? Questions so far? No, no doubts. Okay, with this explanation, where can you go over? Okay, to finish the section number one, you can finish the section number one in the platform you have here. Okay, I have a, the list. Okay, o ya tengo la lista, digamos ya completita de ustedes, right? With your full names. So please, everybody, be ready to say present. Okay, Yesenia y Beta Barca Vázquez. Present. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Verónica Beatriz Celso. Present teacher. Osmani Etzaú de León. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Present teacher. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Here. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez, absent. Eh, Dalila Estela Silva Morán, present. María Araceli González Flores, present. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía, present. Ok. Eh, Sofía Guadalupe Hernández, present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez, present. Claudia Ileana Casun. Present. Present, ok. Eh, Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present, teacher. Good. Herbert Iván Martínez Carrillo. Present. Karen Lisette Reyes. Karen, Karen, Karen is absent. Ok, absent today. Eh, Carmen Elena Cornejo Palacios. Elena, hello, absent, okay, for today. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. Present. Excellent, okay, very, very good. So we have some people absent. Quiero ver, tenemos Carmen Elena y le vamos a llamar. Karen Lisette and quiero ver, creo que solo ellos, right? Okay, that's it. So this is, okay, guys, okay, talking about requests. Ok, um, ahí estuvimos hablando con Yoba, a ver si esta semana vamos a, 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 a verla para, para mandarles algún, digamos, información, ok, acerca de los temas. Sabemos que una hora se va rápido, ¿verdad? Pero, este, pues, es un agregado a lo que tienen en la plataforma, ok? My friends, thank you very much for joining my class today. Have a beautiful morning, ok? And have a nice, nice Monday, right? I will see you tomorrow at 6.30, ok? If you have any questions, Entonces, let me know, ok? Uh, via WhatsApp, ok? You can ask questions if you want. If you need extra stuff, you can let me know. And I will be more than glad to help you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye, Thank guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Take care. Bye. Have a nice bye. bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome.